I wanted to chat, that's all. <clears throat> chat away, then. You're so persuasive. We, we, we never seem to talk. We talked 25 minutes ago over dinner. You talked, we listen. That's the way you like it, isn't it? For Pete's sake, Anne, you must have some respect for me. Oh, I know. You brought in the best education money can buy. Thank you. Yes, look at the result. You've had 20 jobs in as many weeks. 12. I like temping. You leave before the boss has had time to get around to telling you about his frigid wife. Come on, surely. There, there, there must be something that interests you. There is, actually. Earplugs. All right. I just thought we could talk, that's all. I can see I was mistaken. But we are talking. Communicating. When do we get to the types you hang around with bit now? It's bloody hopeless, isn't it? That's right. I mean, look at these. They're mine. They interest me. Any objection? They're not even original. Anyone can see that. They're, they're ugly. Oh, are you trying to dazzle me with your artistic taste, Daddy? I ought to get you an Put me across your knee. Look, I know Mummy's past it. You've seen to that. But don't work your frustrations off on me, right? Will you belt up? That's more like it, Daddy. Like you, the Daddy we know and love. Scotch, please. Scotch, any particular brand? No, just milk. Very good, Pat. That's 27 and 9, please. Sorry, it's all I've got. Sorry, I'm a bit low at the moment. They've just gone to the bank. Yeah. I see, that's the hold on. Yeah. Remover, the astringent, special skin food, and hormone cream. What, five, one, just a minute. Four. Vitamized night cream. Did you decide on the cream face pack, madam? <laughs> yes, all right, you've tempted me. And I'll take the Five moisturizer one. as well. And uh, the luminous makeup, please. How much did you say that was? Four pounds. Mm. Might as well be hung for a sheep as a lamb. Now, what did I say? Twenty-seven and nine. Ten shillings. Fifty pence, I mean. I get so confused with the new decimal <laughs> business. That's two pounds, three, four, five. Twenty-one right? pounds Thank and you. fifty pence. Uh, shall I send it? Oh, no. uh, on account, is it, madam? No, 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 no. I I'll take it. Okay. Yes, that's right. Biddeslow, um, Alan Biddeslow. How do you do? Sit down. No, 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 it's all right. I was, I was just passing, actually. So, this is a private detective's office. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my curiosity. You were working on a case? No, no, income tax. 
Now, you want to get your accountant to do that? <laughs> I wouldn't need one, Mr. Bittersler. He remembered my name the first time. I like that. I like it. I'm in property, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Any time you need an accountant, Margaret, you want to let me know. I could uh, put you onto a very good one, if you know what I mean. Are you sure you don't want to sit down? No, 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 no. I'm just passing the time of day, that's all. And like to get to know the business community. I've got a place in Linden Avenue, you know. Ah, oh, yes, Linden with a Y. Yes. What's your problem? Well, there's no problem. Oh, that's oh. refreshing. Are you care for a cigar? No, 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 thanks. I don't smoke. No. Thing is, um, you got a family? No. Oh, too bad. I got a daughter, um, 18. Listen, Markham, how would you like to come over to my house and have dinner? Say tonight. Dinner? Hmm. Well, there might be something we can discuss, uh, you know, mutual advantage, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't, really. Yeah. This daughter of mine, you see, uh, well, she's not really a problem, it's um, more the crowd she goes around with. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll introduce you as the new surveyor from West Slough. I am in property, you see. Yes, I know you said. Mm, it's not really all that important to me, but, um, well... You can always turn the job down if you don't fancy it, can't you? There's no commitment. Um, what job? Well, we'll discuss that after dinner. You come and meet the family first. But if you like, I'll give you a what's it now. What's it? Yes, your retainer, isn't it? Oh, there's no need for that. I don't know what it is you want me to do. Oh, just, just have a look around, that's all. How much do you charge, Mr. Marker? Oh, what for? Well, for your services. Oh, six pounds and thirty new pence a day, plus expenses. Six guineas, eh? The old style. That's very reasonable. Well, look, there's my card, and um, eight o'clock be all right. And uh, like I say, if you if you don't like the settle, well, um, it's up to you. Uh, there'll be no hard feelings. Good evening. My name's Marker. I'm expected, I think. Please come in. Thank you. May I take your coat, Mr. Marker? Oh, thank you, Mrs. Bittersler. I'm the housekeeper, Barbara. Ah, right. They're in here. Dinner will be ready in half an hour. Well, I'd like to wash my hands, if I may. Oh, certainly. The store under the stairs. Thank you. Do you like this part of the world, Mr. Marker? Mm, it suits me. We like it. That is, we, we find What kind of things do you survey, Mr. Marker? He's a quantity surveyor. I'm sure he can speak for himself. Oh, darling, do you have to? But at the moment, you're surveying the gin and tonic belt at play. <laughs> it does seem like that, yeah. You look more the urban type to me. Beer and vinegar-flavoured crisps. Sort of the earth. And dear, I don't Mummy loathes very... it here more than any of us, despite all her good works. Mummy goes in for good works to compensate for the passing of twin sets and pearls. Don't talk like that about your mother. Where did you live before, Mr. Marker? Oh, uh, Brighton, Mrs. Bittersler. Played billiards, Marker? I have played, yeah. He means we've got a billiard room. Gracious living. So, what's Daddy's big plan? And where do you fit in, Mr. Marker? Actually, I haven't been to Brighton for... Oh, it must be nearly 20 years now. Oh, it isn't what it was, Mrs. Bittersloan. Thank you, Barbara. I'll have mine upstairs. Shall I take it up for you? Thank you, I'm late. Another party, is it? Need I ask? No, you needn't. But if you want the full facts, it's fancy dress with masks coming off at midnight and a 20-piece band playing selections from the Pirates of Penzance. You mustn't take Anne too serious to Mr. Marker. No, it's all right. I'm interested in local customs. Well, then, Barbara should interest you. Housekeeper with a genteel accent and a double-barreled name, Mrs. Lucen Jones. And he doesn't do things by halves, does she? It's not just your old Meals on Wheels she cares about, you know. Well, she's settled in awfully well. Actually, Mr. Marker, she's the only genuine human being in the house. And she can cook. That's a one-time charity paid off. And, dear, I don't think Mr. Marker's really terribly interested. Oh. 
And what are you interested in, Mr Marker? Helping Daddy ruin the landscape? Look, if you want to have a row, don't choose the bloody dinner table. Helen, it's all right. Shan't embarrass you any further. Good night, Mr Marker. Good night. Good pickings. Oh. Yes. Well, you men will want to talk. Yes, that's right, dear. Yes, well... Oh, I bet... Oh, don't bother. I'll answer it. I want to be those two louts come to take her out. Jeremy and Simon? Mm. Oh, Adam, you mustn't be too hard on the young people. You will forgive me, won't you, Mr. Yes, Mr. of course, of course. He comes from an old army family. Her father was a major general. A uh, cigar? No, don't smoke, thanks. Mm. Well, um, what do you think? What about? Come on, Marker. You're a man of the world. You've got no kids, though, have you? All the time in the world, baby. All the time in the world. Listen to him. Bring some bread with you, sweetheart. Jeremy's got to buy petrol. Okay. Get it. Get what? Well, they're no good. Drones, we used to call that type. Are you afraid they're being a bad influence, then? Well, you saw Anne, you heard her. She was completely out of control. Look, Mr. Marker, how much do you want for a retainer? If it's your daughter you're concerned about, shouldn't you discuss it with your wife? With Eve? You must be joking, Marker. Look, this is what I want you to do. I want you to keep an eye on those two lads. Now, book 25 be all right, and leave Eve out of it. You want your daughter watched, is that it? No, that's not it, Marker. That's not it at all. But you're not making yourself clear, Mr. Bittersley. All right, all right, I'll start again. Now, look, I'll, I'll be direct with you, Mr. Marker. Now, my wife, well, you saw her, head in the sand, doesn't want to know, and my daughter, well, well, the more I do for her, she she just hates my guts, and I don't want her to get into any trouble. Well, what kind of trouble? How the hell do I know what kind of trouble, Mark, if she never even talks to me? Look, I don't know a thing about those two lads out there. Not a thing. And I don't want her to get into any trouble. I'm a busy man, Marker, so you tell me who they are, eh? Well, that's straight, isn't it? That's in your line, right? You tell me. Lord Third to be all right. Here, take 30, Marker, go on. Just nose around for a week or so. Give it a week. If nothing, OK, nothing. I mean, if you get cheesed off, you can always jack it in, can't you? Alan, dear, I poured out the brandies. Why didn't you come in the drawing room? Oh, Mr Marker's not staying, dear. Oh, Mr uh, No, Marker. I'm sorry, I have to go. Thank you very much, Mrs Bittersloe. A very nice oh. dinner. Well, goodbye, Mr Marker. Goodbye. Uh, so glad you could come. Yeah. I'll see you in your office, Marker. Uh, uh, you don't mind letting yourself out, do no. you? Alan, dear, I don't understand. You never did, did you? So why start now? Looking for the loo, old man? Where's the kitchen? He wants the kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen, is it? A problem. Yes, we do seem to have a problem there. Gent wants the kitchen. That's what he said. Thank you. Lost your way? No. No? Give me a hand. I let it drain. Yeah, let the pan drain. There's still the cutlery. The silver. You're very domesticated. For a man, anyway. Makeup comes very expensive these days, doesn't it? As if you want the best. But you've caught me out, haven't you? All right. My one luxury. Don't like to let myself go. No, I can see that. You don't have to flirt with me, you know. You don't have to dry the silver either. I don't get you. You see, I know you. Really? Private detectives aren't very common round here. And I do the shopping in the high street. Ah. Uh -huh. I've seen you going in and out of that funny little office. Looks like a fair cop then, doesn't it? Yes. All right, Mr. Marker. I'll answer your questions. What questions? Alan Biddersloe doesn't waste his money. So the rich stay rich. Smoke? No, I don't, thanks. Whatever he says to you about young Anne, I take it with a pinch of salt. 
What makes you say that? He's got a thing about her. She thought it was obvious. Is it? Men like that. After they've done to their wives what he's done to Eve, their next turn on their daughters. You don't like your employer very much, do you? Mrs. Biddeslow employs me. Is she? What else? Housekeeper? That's right. Does she interfere? He uses me. He uses everybody. Oh, what does he use you for? Keeping an eye on his daughter? Anne isn't as bad as he makes out. You don't want to believe everything you hear about what goes on. I don't know what goes on. I think you know a lot more than you're letting on. Is that so? Look, Mr. Marker, I don't know what it is you are investigating, but whatever it is, I'm going to tell you something about me. Because if I don't, somebody else will. You don't have to. I've been inside. Oh, you're not unique in that. You see? I doubt it. She's very kind, Mrs. B. I mean, she took a chance, didn't she? What were you in for? Fraudulent conversion, larceny, false pretenses. Like using a double barreled name. It's a personal idiosyncrasy. Does she know? The daughter? Of course, I've made no secret of it. And you've changed? I can't lose, can I? Nice room, TV set, run of the house, in charge of the shopping. No, 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 you can't lose, I can see that. But don't spoil it for me then. How could I do that? Thanks for the help anyway. Be seeing you. Hope so. Right then. Can I? We're a bit dying, I must say. Oh, here comes old Hawkeye again. Uh, making it with the help, Mr. Marker. Why not take her out in the car for a bit of necking? No car. I'm going home by bus. Oh, dear. Fallen on hard times. I thought surveying paid fairly well in these parts. Surveyed any interesting adulteries lately, Mr. Marker? Good night. One word of advice. If you really want to survey something, survey him, right? But your father? That's right. Look, I don't know what he's paying you for, but whatever it is, keep your nose out of my private affairs. That's a warning, is it? You bet it is. Thank you. Good morning, Mr. Fairbank. You're very formal. You can't be informal, can you? Not with the police. Now, Frank, that's neither true nor kind, is it now? Come for a chat, have we? You're not very friendly today. Bit as low, proving a tiresome customer. The boys after you as well. I take it you want coffee? P-A-Y-E, myself. Lucky old you. What's Bit as low's problem? Why not ask him? I find there are two kinds of people who are leery of the police. They're very rich and they're very poor. Bittislow's not only very rich, he has political ambitions. Local council aspires to the bench. You know the score. Yes, I know the score. I thought you would. You don't want to tread on his corns, but you don't mind treading on mine. It would a match. Thank you. Met his pretty daughter. Pretty face, not so pretty manners. Then you know all about the parties. What about the parties? Kids only in the rest of it. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Except that lately, when the mummies and daddies come home afterwards, there's usually a little something missing from the house. Earrings, watch, bracelet. But you know all about that. You all right? But his low didn't tell you. Oh, why should he if he told you? But he didn't. I got it from a councillor. Someone on the party circuit who got a bit flustered over losing a platinum watch. Did they make a complaint? <laughs> the golf playing class like to keep their little problems to themselves, Frank. Call in the police and we might find out more than they bargain for. For instance? For instance, that their kiddies' parties aren't as innocent as they like to pretend. 
Or their own, for that matter. If you know what I mean. Oh, better a few missing trinkets and the breath of scandal. It's all a wee bit delicate. Now, for you, it's a wee bit delicate. You're a perceptive fellow, Frank. You have to tread lightly around the parish pump, but sitting on your hands in your office won't get you promotion, will it? Less than kind. So since nobody will come up with an official complaint, you have to use the back stairs. Go on. So what, CID inspector? Put it into Alan Biddersloe's head to get me involved, I wonder. Nice weather we're having, considering the time of year. I suppose I ought to be thankful for putting business my way. Oh, a cup of coffee will be enough. For the moment. Is your father at home? Mr. Marker, working on Sundays. Will your union permit it? No, don't tell him, will you? It says here the best cure for a hangover is raw onion in milk. Ah, well, I wouldn't know. Really? I thought all private detectives were inveterate boozers. Do you think we might call a truce? It does get a bit tiring. Oh, poor Mr. Marker. Are we taking our toll of you? Couldn't we just have a chat? What for? Haven't you got yourself clued up by now? Daddy's a bully who married money. Mum is going to seed, I sleep around, and the home helps on probation. Oh, Mr. Marker, I, I wondered who it was. Good morning. Oh, ha has Anne offered you anything? A drink? No, thank you. My, my husband's shaving. That doesn't matter. I'll wait, if I may. Well, I'll go, if I may. And don't give up, Mr. Marker. It's a long lane that has no turning, whatever that means. I do hope Anne hasn't been rude. No, no, not rude, a bit provocative, perhaps. <laughs> Dear. Oh, she can be so trying. It's a phase. When I was young, perhaps there weren't the opportunities. Oh, do sit down, Mr. Markham. Thank you. Opportunities for what? For all this. Well, socializing. Well, I was educated in Switzerland. It was all very. Very sheltered. You didn't send Anne there? No. No. I quite wanted to, but Alan was opposed to it. Do you know Switzerland, Mr. Marker? No, no. Oh, it's a beautiful country. Of course, I've been back there many times. On holiday? No. Not exactly. My doctors thought it would be good for was it? Well, well yes, it, it was. Like the social work. That helped a lot later on. But I hated being away from Anne for long periods. Makes a mother very anxious being separated from her only child. Sometimes I think that's why I'm not closer to Anne now. Those long periods in Switzerland. <laughs> Nowadays, the only person who seems to understand what Anne really wants is Mrs. Newsom Jones. Oh. It's a very good place for chest trouble, I believe, isn't it? Chest trouble? No, that wasn't why I was at... Oh, I must sit here gossiping. Now, dear, you run along upstairs and uh, put some clothes on. Yes, dear. Oh, just before you go, I wonder if I can ask you something. Have you or any of your friends had any trouble with burglars lately? Well, since you mentioned it, not actually. Well, up you go. Lunch is nearly ready. You will forgive me, won't you? Yes, of course, of course. What the devil's the matter with you, Mark? Who gave you permission to question my wife? I'm not paying you to upset the whole household, you know. I keep wondering why you are paying me. Why didn't you tell me about the thefts? What thefts? I know nothing at all about any thefts. 
Now, listen, Marker, your concern and your only concern is my daughter and the company she keeps. Now, that's what I'm paying you for. I don't think we're going to get on, Mr. Bittersloe. I don't care what you think, Mr. Marker. Lunch is on the table, sir. Well, oh, come on. It's not a difficult job, old boy, but I want it done, and I want it done well. I need your good help, Marker, so don't let me down. And don't let yourself get sidetracked by irrelevant issues. But, oh, by the way, I'm not fooling your daughter with my severe impersonation, you know. How's that? Well, I think one of those likely lads is onto me somehow. Then you'll have to box clever, then, won't you? So there. Right. Can we talk somewhere? Not here. I've got the afternoon on. Let's have tea. Are you know all about it, then? This evening. Of course I do. Everybody does. You want that pastry, don't you? All right, I don't want it. It's a sport. Sport? Well, they don't eat the stuff. It's a game. You know, hide and seek. I am. The stuff never turns up, does it? Doesn't it? How'd I know? Oh. Zan talked to you much. Yes. She's a nice kid. A bit irresponsible. Like they all are nowadays. Does she confide in you? How do you mean? Well, you know, a love life and all that. A bit. Not much. Uh, does she say anything about the thieving? No. She's not a criminal, that's what you mean. <sighs> I should know. What about those two lads? Mink and poops. They're competing for it. Which one's winning? <laughs> Neither. Not a chance. Well, that's not what her father thinks. You don't want to take too much notice of what he says. It is me. What for? Finding out who's pinching things at kids' parties. Mm -hmm. You know, underneath that bluff, self-made exterior, is a very devious man. Is there? He wants his own way. He usually gets it. I wouldn't put much past him. Well, what wouldn't you put past him? Blackmail. The family sort. You know? No, I don't know. Wouldn't be beyond him to want to have something on hand. And his own daughter. Isn't that where you come in? Something I would for. To neutralise the possibility of her blackmailing him. He's ambitious. She's got it in for him. Anyway, what the kids get up... Oh, well, never mind. No, 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 go on, go on. What the kids get up to is nothing compared to what their parents do at their parties. What are you thinking? I'm thinking you are a very intelligent woman. Very articulate. For a housekeeper who's been inside, you mean? Hmm. Would it surprise you to know I've been to university? No. I read social science at Leeds. Laugh, isn't it? Barbara Jones, the social scientist. Well, where does the Lucian come in? My ex. We got married when we were students. Didn't work out. Oh, he's in the civil service, um, ministry of, I don't know, something or other. Ever see him? He's ashamed of me. Oh, I'm sorry. What about? Oh, all these personal questions. Not a bit. I find it rather flattering. You got any more? One. Why do you always wear white? I don't. Sometimes I wear off-white. Haven't you noticed? Half of the best, George. And my friend a bit, I have another one. Made any good arrests lately? I'm working on it. Didn't take you for the ladies, man, Frank. You could have fooled me, too. Dainty teas, tater tates over the fancy cakes. You must have better things to do. She's bent. The original banana. Didn't you know? Thanks, George. This job you're doing for Bittersloaf. Making progress? I open up my office at 9.30 a.m. I wouldn't bet very heavily on her tips, that's all. I'll bet it in mine, thanks. Credibility gap there, mile wide. Have you talked to her? You take a very reformed character. 
But I don't see her putting on a maxi and going to kids' parties to knock off a few trinkets. Well, that puts my mind at rest. Does anything do that? <laughs> marker, marker, you're becoming a cynic. Cheers, good health. And don't forget, a bad apple doesn't get any better. Me a cynic. Ever. <laughs> She's between jobs. She usually is. So what sends Daddy up the wall? She doesn't tell me everything. Doesn't she? Well, who else is there for her to talk to in this house? There's her mother. You've met Mrs. Bittersnow? Briefly. Well, then. Was she in a sanitarium in Switzerland? She needed a rest, I believe. You see why, can't you? There's a social visit. Yes, but you could save yourself a bit of trouble. Trouble, Frank? How? Oh. By telling me what you know. What I know about what? About these parties, where things go missing. I didn't think you'd be the kind to hold my past against I'm me. I'm not. I mean, I'd be a bloody fool. Aren't, aren't you me? jumping to conclusions? Well, look, Frank, you know as well as I do. Whenever there's any trouble, it's always the chump with the record who You gets... don't ever go to these parties, do you? Well, how could I, if you're over 20... Yes, I know! Tell you what I will do. If Anne tells me anything... I mean, anything that might keep her out of trouble, but help you... I'll come and tell you. OK? OK. I've been ringing you for an hour. Where have you been? Nothing. What? Spaghetti bolognese. Oh, very funny. Listen, there's something I want you to do, Mark. Oh, now, there's progress. There's a party on tonight. It's Anne's turn. Oh, it's your place. That's right. What about you and your wife? We're playing bridge with some friends in Slough. All right, what do you want me to do? Just keep an eye on the house. Now, is that clear? Yes, if that's what you want. After all, it's your money. But what am I looking for? Or haven't you made up your mind yet? You're a pretty cheeky fellow, aren't you, Mark? I get my... Just watch, that's all. Watch and listen. I'll keep my eye on your daughter, Mr. Bittersloe, all right? Did I say that? I want the full dossier. All right, then, the full dossier. Right. I'll see you. like my copy, don't you? See Madden's up the street. Who's that, then? Your double-barrel domestic. I hadn't rated your gossip. Or a snob. It's part of a policeman's stocking trade, gossip. Not about snobbery. No, no, you got me there. Mustn't get personal. Forget I ever made the remark. What have you got against Mrs. Lucent, Jones? I said forget I ever made the remark. Oh, no, I've forgotten it. It doesn't change anything, does it? 
I'm not following you, Frank. No, but you're following her, though, aren't you? Are you trying to say anything to me, Marco? I don't like victimization. Come again. Just because she's been inside once. Now who's getting personal? Have I said I suspect her? As good as. I see I've offended your sense of propriety. I hadn't rated you so thin-skinned. All right, we're quits. What are you doing here? You've got a job on my say-so. And you want paying? What I want is the nod, if you get onto anything that's for me. You mean about the thieving? Yeah. Well, what if I find the girl herself is involved? The daughter? Then I want to know. Anything about the Biddersloes. You don't want much, do you? That's privileged information. Privileged? Man and wife, lawyer and client, priest and parishioner, they're privileged. You ain't. Look it up in your Moriarty. Tough. You're a bastard sometimes, do you know that? Don't flatter me. So you had a visitor? Yes. Did you have something to tell me? Not really. It's just that Anne's giving a party tonight. Getting some things in for it. Are you going to babysit? <laughs> no. It's my evening off. Wouldn't want me hanging round. Well, what are you going to do then? Do? You know this place. What do you do on your evenings off? And <laughs> I'm working tonight. I see. Pity. Why? What did you have in mind? No, you're a very direct fellow. <laughs> you mean rude, don't you? No. Candles are refreshing. At least. Sometimes it is. All right, then what about a drink later on? I'll try and finish early. Like that. White Swan down the road, but uh, half past seven. It's a date. Till then. Scotch, Side. Nothing, not a soul. What was she so nervous about? Who cares? Simon, old chap, we've done it again. Look at this. That's worth a few quid. Yeah, not bad, eh? What about the rest? No, this will do. Big stuff's probably fake anyway. Hurry up. Hey, the box looks nice. Oh, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Where have you been? Lou. Simon felt a bit sickly. Is he all right now? Who cares? Mr. Furbank, I'm not horse trading. If you want the information, you can have it. The girl is not involved. Is that unambiguously clear? Long words, Mr. Marker. But I can't promise anything, you understand? Well, that having been said, let's have your information. MGB. Light blue. Bridget. What? Yep, right. Will do. I thought I told you to watch the bloody house. I did. My wife's been robbed. What the hell do you think you're getting paid for? I keep wondering. What's missing? Watch, gold bracelet, couple of rings. Valuable? It's enough. Listen, Marco. Have you informed the police? What's that? I said, have you informed the police? If I wanted the police nosing about in my private business, do you think I'd have hired you? All right, then I'll tell them, shall I? Don't bother. You're sacked. Very well, then. Shall I send you my account? Do that. Oh, listen, before you hang up. Yes. Did you say, uh, a watch... A bracelet and some rings? I did. All right, you'll have them back by tomorrow afternoon, Mr. Bittersloop. Uh, I'll... Insolent bastard. We've got your daughter to thank for this. to bring them in in good time. Do you think the fence will come to them? Why not? It'd be safer, wouldn't it? Watch it. You know. Hey, used to be cynical, Marker. The lady in white. Off white. Telling me. Excellent, my dear. Excellent. Not too much of the garlic, but um, just enough to tickle the palate. Hmm? <laughs> I'd quite forgotten how I enjoyed cooking. It's awfully good, Mummy. Really mm. fabulous. It is nice, isn't it? Just the three of us. Quite agree. I, I, I don't think I shall.
quite be able to manage the whole house. Oh, out of the question. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll ring up a few of these um, domestic agencies. Well, I'll do it for you if you like. Yes, we'll go through the proper channels this time, shall we? Give the old uh, social conscience a bit of a breather. Eh? Well, you, you both liked her. She was very efficient. No in one's way. blaming you, dear. She had us all fooled. Mind you, I had my inklings. Always thought she was a bit too good to be true. That's why I hired old, uh, what's his name, Marco. Oh, I'd hmm. wondered. Well, just as well I did, wasn't it? And you've learnt your lesson, hmm? Have I? Oh, it's all right. No need to go over it all again to bread, love, please. Oh, we all make mistakes, thank you. Errors of judgment, hmm? I must say, Daddy, there are times when I'm forced to admire you. Hmm, I'm good. Well, I mean, my friend goes in for a bit of fencing. You catch her out. My fellows turn out to be thieves. You catch them out. Go on. Well, so who's there to catch you out, Daddy? Ah, but I never do anything wrong, do I? Of course not. There's some sorbet in the refrigerator, would you, dear? Right. Like father, like daughter. Eh, hey, Daddy? Well, look who's here. Actually, I'm not talking to you. You don't like being stood up in pubs. And I don't like being used. Used? For an alibi. Very neat. Setting me up to ask you out for a drink. Age of chivalry is over. How long did you think you could operate that little number? Yeah, with your record, you can count on a good few years this time. Gonna wait for me, then? I've been a mug in my time. Oh, sure, I'm a baddie. And the bidders lows, they're goodies. Put a cigarette. I'm sorry I don't smoke. It's a big thrill, was it? Making a bit on the side? Thrill. Well... It's just knowing that you're that... Bit cleverer than somebody else. It's not as if they didn't know you got a record. They seem to want to be chumps. Kid themselves, they're so nice and kind and charitable. They're gonna change you. It's their fault, really, isn't it? Got a lawyer, have you? I'll ask Alan Biddersley. I think he's got. Contacts. Shove off, Marker. You know better than that. Goodbye then, Mrs. Lucian Jones. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. Come on. Just don't believe women who wear white. Thank you. 